Good morning everybody. I am running a little bit late. Me and my dad at the gym, but I'm gonna be doing a, like show you my week of workout. So let's go. Today we're starting off with a run on the treadmill because I'm really trying to work on like getting my speed faster. So see you there. Oh my god! When I tell you the weather outside is literally like a gale force wind, I'm not even joking. Like, literally, the trees that stand like this are like this. So, that's really not a vibe. But I am signing off from work for the day. I know I said this was going to be like a week of workouts, but I'm clearly vlogging. So, I really hope you enjoy that. Um, but I completely forgot what I was coming on here to talk to you about. Jesus. Anyway, what I was actually gonna say was the urge to cook dinner right now is like so high, I cannot even tell you. And when I tell you, it's literally 4.30. I cannot eat my dinner right now. I am absolutely starving. Good morning, everybody. It is still, it's not that early, don't get me wrong. It's 25 to um, 9, 25 to 9, 25 to 10. And you might be wondering why I'm dressed the way I am. I had a job interview today. Um, I hadn't planned to have the job interview. It wasn't part of my week, but I basically applied for this coffee shop. Um, it wasn't really a coffee shop. It's more of a like cafe because they sell bagels and also coffee and lots of other food um but yeah in in light of my current state of employment i need to find something else to tide me by because i don't want to have no social interaction um and also no money so we need to have some income coming in that i can either dispose of or save um so yeah finding new clients is really hard um and it's not as easy as i thought because no one that i've contacted has actually answered me which is even better in my opinion um so that's fab and as well i've got this full face of makeup on it's not really full face i don't really do like lots of makeup but i've got this makeup on and I'm now going to the gym and what's the point of me taking it off because I've literally just put it on and it was a complete waste of time so I might as well go to the gym do my workout with it on you know I'm so sad because it's literally like proper winter clothing now like so so sad um but I'm ready to go hit legs I will bring you along. I'm hoping it's not going to be too busy because I just can't, I can't be asked for busy if I'm honest with you. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm wearing. Let's go. Woo. Today we're starting out with some hip thrusts. I absolutely hate these. I have become a real hater. But ever since I have um, been going to this new gym, they haven't really had a great setup for me for hip thrusts. So, doing them like this, honestly, looking at my form, I feel like they're absolutely fab. And then obviously I did some RDLs, I absolutely love these ever since marathon training. So yeah, that's all I filmed. I don't know why I've even bothered. <laughs> Sushi from LD when I was on my way home, so. 
Good morning, everybody. My doesn't my hair look long? <laughs> Loving it. Um, I feel like this week of workouts video has been a proper re realistic show of my week. But if I'm honest with you, I did three gym sessions last week, I think. I don't know. I know I did a Monday run, Tuesday back and biceps, Wednesday legs, and I didn't do anything. And then I did Saturday run, Sunday I did, I didn't do anything. And I was meant to film on Monday my full body, but I started my period and I completely forgot. So... I got really distracted, so I didn't film anything. So it's now Wednesday and I'm going <laughs> for a run outside. So, yeah. I started actually wearing my watch to sleep. And I did, I haven't done like a huge extensive amount of research on it. But I know that I'm not getting enough deep sleep. So I've been tracking my deep, well, I've just been tracking my sleep. And... Um, in the last couple of days it has actually got better because I don't feel like I'm stressing out about a huge amount anymore but um, I think I'm only getting around 45 minutes to an hour of deep sleep and you are meant to actually get more than that I'm pretty sure but I seem to get my deep sleep like when I first fall asleep so in the first like four hours I have a broken amount of deep sleep or I just have a solid deep sleep. Um, but I've stopped reading my book before I go to sleep. And that's actually made a huge difference about my dreaming because I've been through a stage. That's the reason why I started tracking my sleep, like wearing my watch to sleep because my dreams have been so like vivid and I've been waking up like so tired um and it's funny how i feel like as a child you're told oh it's good to be dreaming it means you're sleeping well but actually it's really not very good for you um so yeah there was one night i remember last week all i did was dream <laughs> all i did was dream which then meant when I woke up, I was just so exhausted, so probably why this video is such a sham, but I'm still going to upload it because it is a valid representation of life, to be honest. So it's still going to go up and I'm sorry you have to watch it, <laughs> but I feel like it's beneficial for people to watch these kinds of things. So I'm going to go and get my car cleaned because it needs to be cleaned. And I'm gonna go for a run. exaggeration I literally have been putting this off doing this particular route since September because I was like I don't want to go back on there because it's half marathon we're running route blah 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 that was so fun I mean I didn't do half of what I normally do well normally did when I was training for my half marathon but that 5k oh so nice i could have probably ran the whole thing but because i'm on my period i just wanted to do three miles 
and then walk the rest back because I don't really want to be um, in bed asleep today because I have things I need to do. But yeah, that was so fun. And even though it is absolutely freezing, I'm so glad I just did that. Um, and as well, I kind of feel like running in the cold makes you run for longer if that makes any sense so like running in summer you want to I want to stay outside because I want to get like a nice tan but running in winter you run you keep running just because you want to get over with so you end up doing what you're doing what feels like quicker but probably it's just the same but yeah no it was fun it was really fun and I don't know whether I've actually like spent this into existence yet on this channel, but I am running another half marathon in April. So I do need to just bite the bullet and get on with these runs. Um, and I'm going to start and really focus on like tempo training, or tempo training, tempo runs and interval runs. And then probably doing one of these a week as well, um, because I just want to get my speed a little bit quicker. Um, and I did two tempos I think it was tempos I think I actually know I did one tempo run and one interval training session last week and I definitely have noticed that that felt easier um, to just keep going because I think I only stopped once and that was to take my gloves off so yeah it's all it's all happening but I do feel like I'm potentially getting ill. Uh, I think Elliot might have shared his cold because I just feel like I sound like a man. So this isn't good, but I need to go now because my car is like five minutes away. And this last bit is literally a swamp. So my poor hawkers that were a nice creamy color definitely are not that anymore. <laughs> It's leg day. Let's go. Leg day, leg day. Leg day, leg day. Another day, another leg day. So we're using the glute machine. Can't exactly remember what this is called, but it's basically the machine I use when I can't be asked to set up for hip thrusts, and it's incredible. Um, not gonna lie to you, I do struggle because for some reason this whole machine just makes your hip thrusts feel a hell of a lot heavier but it's good to like get the glutes activated and feel the burn and all that stuff but today we I think we pushed it up to like 80 kg which is the highest we've done um, and then I went on to some squats now I haven't been going like super heavy with squats recently because I just really need to focus on my depth and ever since marathon training, I, well, half marathon training, sorry, I haven't really been going like super heavy um, because I don't really want to injure myself because obviously when you run, it takes a lot out on your legs. And to be honest, I've actually felt like I've been seeing more progress slowing down. Um, and this was the first time in a while that I actually did 50 kg. And as you can see, I'm kind of struggling but like I wasn't like hugely like oh my god I'm dying here so I feel like it's working whatever I'm doing in the gym is actually working okay so calf raises I do not do these and I need to do them and I have seen Holly B fitness and Connor on youtube doing calf raises like this and oh my god why have i not done these sooner um and obviously it superseded the calf raises with bulgarian split spots and oh my god absolute killer but bulgarians are incredible for running if you are a runner or you are thinking about running and you want to strengthen your legs please do these because they are surprisingly good for you and they don't feel so hard now i've been training them for the last however many months and can i tell you like just look at the position of my legs that's how you run like your legs run like that so obviously they're gonna help um and yeah i absolutely hate them but love them and my legs just feel like absolute jello so 
that's my leg day. Just want to come on here, ignore my uh, diffuser. <laughs> Uh, I just want to come on here and end the video. I'm so sorry. This has been such a strange week. However, this is kind of like what my workouts look like. In this week, I did train upper body twice. I just forgot to film it. So I'm really, really sorry. So what I'll do is I will do an updated like upper body slash back and biceps, chest and triceps, push and pull, whatever you want to call it day i will make sure next time i film workouts i will prioritize the upper body so i'm so sorry um but i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you comment like and subscribe and i'll see you again in my new video also hope you enjoyed the christmas intro because i certainly freaking do <laughs> see ya <laughs>